I've been eating brandy, brandy liqueurs. I'm convinced. It's like when I was a kid. You're starting and to slow. You're slow your words now. <laughs> We are hurtling towards 2018, but we're still in Christmas, obviously. Yes, we're still, um, we're still drinking. We're still drinking after Serrano. <laughs> it's a popular drink this one, this month, isn't it? We are looking back at this year, because it's uh, been fresh. a phenomenal year. We started this channel, what, six months ago, five, mm. six months ago? And we initially started it as a, a kind of helpful video for people that want to find vegan food in London. Vegan food or vegan groups in London. Mm. And we kind of changed it over yeah. the months because we don't really see that as a challenge because veganism has grown so much, hasn't Ooh. it? Let's think back. So the first thing we ever did was in Catford. And that was actually one of my highlights, I think, mm. of the year, because it was so exciting to have this new channel and Ooh. to start it all off. And you, you thought of the idea, because you thought of the idea of going out and doing the challenge, yeah. that vegan challenge, you came up with the name. And I was just like buzzing, because I was so excited about starting it all off because I just knew that it was going to take us to different places each time that we did it. So that was definitely a big highlight was just getting going with it. Yeah. Was just actually going, right, let's do this because we started off doing videos, video reviews of horror films. And then they scuttle up the walls and scuttle from the ceiling. And it's like, what? So they suddenly turn into some sort of insect. How do they do it? Demonstrate how they <laughs> scuttle. Go on. <laughs> no, because you'll make me look like a twat. No. No. And then, you know, with me going vegan and then you going vegan, it was just like, let's just do this. This is red velvet vegan cake. Look at that. We're gonna have to do a lot of walking today. I bet you can guess what my big highlight is. What is the best thing I've done this year? Without you. <laughs> See? You can't have done the best thing without me. Jacob's Ridge. Jacob's Ridge? Well, that was, wasn't with me. No, but, it, but we did the videos, It was yeah. for our channel, wasn't it? So, yeah. I, I, I mean, I got loads back from that, even though I wasn't yeah. there. So it's um, pig feeding time. These pigs are out the back. And I know you weren't with me. I know. But, um, I was in spirit. You were in spirit. Yeah. The Animal Rights March, yeah. The Animal I Rights think. March really opened my mind. It kind of made me realise how much I wasn't doing. Yeah, but and I know it still makes doing me realise how little I'm doing. Each, each and every thing that we do, we're, we're, I think it's just raising awareness on its own is mm. good. Liberation! No, this is quite emotional though. Take some mosh. Well, just knowing everybody here is <laughs> here for the same thing. But I think next year I'd like us to perhaps do a bit more. I'd like to do more marches, definitely. Yeah, and also do a bit more talking to activists mm. and... Oh, interviews. Yeah. We're, we'll be doing loads of those, I think, next yeah, year. Yeah, next year I really want to start doing more of that. Because we did, although it wasn't last year, I think another highlight for me, although we featured it on our channel, yeah. is Fat Gay Vegan. Yeah, well, what's good about having the name Fat Gay Vegan is it's kind of a signpost at the door which says, you know, if you're queerphobic or if you're against fat people or you think vegans are idiots, don't come inside. Even before we started this, we met him and interviewed him. And really, yeah, he does hell of a lot for the cause. He does. Um, and he's such a voice of reason. I mean, reading his column in Vegan Life, I always find his answers are so measured and so thoughtful. That's why I really appreciate the way he comes across. And I think he's a really good advocate for veganism. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody does their activism in their own ways. And yeah, yeah this year different. we've concentrated on stuffing our faces and getting yeah. drunk. But I think next year is a year I think next year we'll, we will maybe move away from that a little bit. It would be nice to, to do the cause more than... We still want to stuff our faces, though. But, yeah, drunk. it's just, I love food. Yeah. I mean, we both love food and it's, and it's new products. I'm starting to love food. Well, when we get new products that are out, we want to try Ooh. them. And also, it's not just that, it's new vegans as well. I'd like to think that maybe people that are watching our videos who have just turned vegan, like my friend uh, Joel, mm. that you've yeah. not met yet, the photographer, he's just recently gone vegan just a couple of months ago. You know, he wouldn't have known about, I mean, he said that he'd watched stuff of ours mm. and he didn't know about certain products. So it's, 
It's good to but raise awareness. But also, a lot of the companies that we are supporting are the smaller food companies. Yeah, we've just gone through stuff that we've eaten from, we've bought from big shops. But actually, a lot of the products we buy, a lot of the products we support, are small. You know, what you would ethical call, companies. you know, home-run companies, and they're ethical companies. And that's what I want. Again, what I'd like to do more. People like Shear Me. And then we put someone in tattoo. Oh, is that new? Is it new no, one? it's these ones are the new ones. Oh, I love kitty. Yeah. <laughs> and Fab Fudge as well. Yeah, Fab Fudge. The ladies suffering from heavenly, MS yeah. and raising money by making the fudge mm. for and her treatment. And heavily organics. Yeah, we've met some great companies and oh, met God, some great yeah. people. On oh, Nanaba. Nanabar. Nanabar. And they had such a successful opening of that pop-up. Yeah, and yes, it, yeah. It, you know, it's closed now, but they're, they're going on to bigger things now. Yeah, and Livia and Justin, just two absolutely lovely people. They're two of the nicest people I've ever met. And do you remember we went to, I can't remember what it was, was it King's Cross? We went to an animal welfare festival there. And we first met vegan blogger and oh, yes. vegan oh, first, backpacker, yeah, Helen yeah. And, ben. and Ben. Yeah, hello. And they recognised yeah. us from our channel and that was great. That it was, was really so encouraging. Because we'd only us. been doing it like a month, yeah. I think, a month or and so. And it was nice to be recognised so early yeah. into our channel. And they've been really good supporters of us. And thank you guys. It's yeah. been really good. And next year I'll be photographing your wedding. Hench Herbivore, Paul. Ah, oh, Paul. Yep, yeah, lovely guy. How could you turn to that man and say, where'd you get your protein yeah. from? Yeah, if you're not vegan. Well, come and find you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm nice. Be nice, vegan someone. Yeah, man. Yeah. And he's, you know, obviously teaching people because he's a nutritionist mm. and a personal trainer. So yeah. he, he is really clued up on mm. what is the best food to eat if you want to look like that. And obviously because he exercises as well, people, you know, some people think, Oh, if you're a vegan, you're ill, or Ooh. you're skinny, or you're malnourished. No. Do you know what? I feel it's quite effective, and every time I've had some really good feedback, and but even when I hear that parents have questioned what's happened, I think at least the kids have gone home and had the conversation. Absolutely. Think, and that's where that's the least you can hope for is the conversations to start. His channel is now the Geezer Family. Right. So yeah. he's filming everybody in the family that obviously is vegan. Yep. It's the vegan journey. I mean, I hate to use that term, but it's the vegan journey isn't it it's like because it's affecting the whole family so my friend jenna's just recently gone vegan i haven't seen her for a while but i knew she was heading that way mm. and i know a couple of other people are heading that way and it just seems that so many people are going on this journey my friend vin he's just gone vegan he was a vegetarian but yeah. he's just gone vegan and he i didn't think he was going to do it i mean i must admit i, I didn't I didn't think, oh, he's never going to do it, but I mm. hoped that he would, but he has. And he, I think, I'm sure it's because it's a lot easier now. Mm, I think it is the ease. But, but it's he does also, cook, he cooks a lot of fresh food. And it's also the support. I think there is a support network. I think vegans, on the whole, are extremely supportive of each other. Yeah. I hate saying this because I am an atheist. Um, it is a bit like a religion in a sense that when it hits you, and this is going to sound awful and I hate saying this, when it you hits you, it's like, it's like seeing the light. Yeah. And suddenly going, oh my God, everything I am doing is not only impacting the well-being of animals. And for all those years, we've, we've talked about this numerous times. All those years, we were vegetarian thinking we were making a massive difference mm. and being all a bit holier than thou. Yeah. And suddenly you go, you're doing nothing as a vegetarian. By, by comparison. Well, I mean by comparison. Yeah. Uh, there's a part of me that really loves the challenge of it. It's not that it is mm. challenging as it was, as challenging as it was, but there's part of me that quite likes having to question things and having to, and to get up and think, oh, what am I going to do? And mm. what am I going to eat and drink today? It's like, it's, it's quite exciting, I think. I read something really interesting, because, I mean, this... Uh, come out and say something that I've not spoken about. I have a problem with, I've had problems with food before and mm. eating and I've had, I've had an eating disorder before. And a friend pointed out to me about a year ago that um, being vegan has helped me deal with my control issues with food. Right. And actually, weirdly, I was reading Sarah Pascoe's book about called animal and mm. it's about female um attitude to the body and how the body how, you know how female bodies work and things like that and she said the same thing in her book the whole thing is about having control of your eating when you're body dysmorphic i mean i 
constantly think I'm the size of a house and that's no joke I see myself as being absolutely mm. huge mm. even though I know I'm not obviously when you're like that you go on diets or you control your eating because you you're constantly worried about putting on weight all the time because you already see yourself as fat yeah however being a vegan I've been able to switch that control of calorie counting to controlling not putting dairy into my body and not putting that into my body. So now actually I've moved away from being so controlling about my food and I'm actually now, since being a vegan, this is the first time in many, many, many years I've enjoyed eating. That's great, isn't and it? it and That's it's, another plus of veganism, isn't it? Yeah. When you look at it like that. It's and it, you know, this has been quite big for me to turn positive. around and say this yeah. um, on camera as yeah, well. Yeah, well done you, that's great. Um, yeah, it's been a massive thing. I mean, I, a couple, about three years ago after a breakup, I went down to, I think, seven and a half stone. I was, I lost, shed loads of weight and then a couple of, you know, decided to go vegan because I was single and I could go vegan because I had no one else to feed. Do you think it's because you're respecting the food? Because yeah. you're respecting vegan food because you yeah. know that there's no, no part of it where you have a bad conscience about yeah. it. It's like you just... Because like, it's a diet of abundance. Because the people that say, yeah. oh, what do you eat if you're a vegan? I'm sorry, but if you don't realise yeah. how much good food yeah. that you can eat as a, as a vegan. And it's, it's enjoyable it's because you say it is like the hunt. Yeah. It's like the hunt for the good yeah. vegan meal. And I tell you what, that's way better than going on a... I mean, obviously, I've never been on a hunt for an animal. I've, I would never consider it. But it must, it's way better than going and killing something just hell of it oh my god it's a clear going conscience on the, going on the hunt for and having that meal like i remember when we went to cook daily and just going oh my god I, that taste yeah i'm always wanting that taste again yeah it smells yummy i'm really looking forward to this it's really red <laughs> i'm sure it's not really red Chicken. Here's mine. This is really good. Brown rice and the vegan adobo. With this is what I love because this just looks like it just looks so authentic, doesn't it? Well, it is authentic because it's real yeah. vegan food. And there's loads of food I've eaten since being a vegan, and it's just like I want that food again. And it's been so many years I've felt that way about food. And I love the fact that there are, you know, much like. Uh, a meat diet or a dairy diet you get bad food as well oh, we've had some bad yeah, food yeah, yeah. but I like the fact that we are constantly we generally searching. make it ourselves well, we do. <laughs> you know I went vegan for the animals obviously. and it was a conscious decision as yeah, well it was and a, that's why it's good I never thought of going vegan to try and control my eating or anything like that mm. it never occurred to me that that was another way of controlling my eating it was simply that I knew I was going to go vegan and I needed to go vegan for the animals and then it was only when my mate actually pointed it out to me and said do you think this is just a way of you managing to control and it was like yeah actually it is but isn't yeah. this a good way of me doing this? yeah definitely what's your favorite meal that you've eaten in the past <sighs> My th six months well I think my favourite meal that we've reviewed is certainly all plants but this is jerk jackfruit pulled jackfruit marinated in sweet Caribbean spices on a bed of black coconut rice kidney beans and peas this is what supermarkets should be aspiring to yes. but eating out um, there's a restaurant called Vanilla Black mm. who I've we're hoping to there. interview next there, yeah. year. Um, they're, they're really good. And Cook Daily. Yeah, Cook Daily. Cook Daily for just really cheap, wholesome food. Yeah. And the vegetables are good and the chicken, the vegan chicken. Oh, the vegan chicken. Is amazing. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of like tofu. It's the light like tofu. So you put too much of this I did. On. I'm not a fan of like really spicy food, so I put this, I love sriracha, but I didn't realize it was the really hot one. Oh, hey, there it is. Hey, it's the man. going on? Cook daily. Vegan food. Vegan for the animals. Vegan for everything. Vegan for life. But some of the other, I was thinking about some of the other highlights. Veggie prep. Oh, That's been a brilliant thing. When you look at the companies, I mean, I think they, they are up the top. Uh, yeah. for the amount of vegan food that they have as well. And not just food, I mean... God, they've got rid of the super reds and greens, yeah. though. Bring back your super reds and greens sandwich and the avocado with the olive tapenade. Um, 
thingy, what's it? Baguette, I, you did. I had their, Bring them back. I had their soup today, which was carrot and coriander. But mm. you think carrot and coriander, it's not to everyone's taste because not love everyone loves coriander. Carrot and coriander. But it had edamame beans edamame. in it. Edamame. 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 <laughs> you can't say it, I'll say it for you. I can say edamame. And it had potato in there, which you don't normally have potato mm. in carrot and coriander. It's, nice. it's quite watery normally, isn't it? But it was delicious and quite spicy. That's and good. I have one of those. I, yeah, I, I swear by Pret. I, mm. lo I love Pret. I must say, you've still not been to the actual place, have you? But you've not been to Temple of Hackney, have you? Yet? No, not yet. I mean, we had We had festival. it at the festival and that was... Oh, I've had a few from there. So we have on the menu today, jerk chicken burgers and curry chicken burgers. These are our seitan at the Temple of Hackney. We are the Temple of Seitan. We enjoy. We have enjoyed. I've been wanting to go there for so long, well, since we're, they we're opened. We're actually quite crap that we haven't been there yet, but... they come to us, yes, in effect. Yes, in effect. Really we're, nice guys, too. And we've had such a nice day. Can I say, I'm a little bit drunk, but... More than tipsy, I think you could say. No, 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 no I'm still holding it together. Right. Right. Um, I need no. to eat this now. Here we go. <laughs> I just tipped it out. We got piri piri. Yeah, it's just dining on to heaven. That is delicious. Yeah. I can hardly ever finish a burger. Yeah. They're so filling. So there this. we go. We need to do that next year. Anticarnis, sorry. Anticarnis. Sorry. Clothing. Forgot to say clothing. Yeah. So Anticarnis, I was a big fan of theirs even before they sent us um, a t-shirt. There are so Itch. many companies. I mean, mm. we're going to miss people, and I'm sorry if we do miss yeah, you, but yeah. that that just proves how successful the veganism movement is yeah. because there are so many companies great ethical companies that are just delivering the goods and we've just had a we've had a ball for the past we have had an amazing time months. and you know a lot of people do youtube channels not many i don't think mm. but a lot of people do it just for the money but we're not we're doing it oh, God we're no. certainly not doing it for the money but we're doing it for the fun and we're actually really it's sociable. It. yeah and just so blown away by anybody who does send us products to test yeah. and i'm sorry if we behave like complete dicks when we're testing them, but i can't help it it's just the Speak way i yourself, am love <laughs> so i'll say cheers to 2018 cheers to what 2018. have been your highlights wait. let us know yeah. below <laughs> see you on the other side yeah. see you next year happy new happy year, new year.